Hello everybody, this is Possessed Robot in my Beagle Boys 13 account. Um doing this video to answer the question which is better, Royale or the workshop? And why is the Royale so important? Well, um many Experts in Champion League probably would disagree with me on everything I'm going to point out and what I'm saying, but I don't care. Right now I'm just pointing out why it's so important and why Pixonic are doing what they're doing. It may seem like a bunch of fools, but or stupid, which in many players' minds they probably are, but in hindsight, they actually are helping us to save on a ton of silver. We just can't see it. And what I mean by that? Let's go to this, uh, let's go to the supply line here, the, uh, the drop boxes. You get silver, you get keys. See all that? Silver and keys in Champions League. What was it, 81,000 or? Anyway, you get. And in the battle rewards, honor, you get silver and tokens in Private League. And all the others. You even get components in supply in these um, boxes. Um, and in the Champions League, I mean, you get ton more. So your private crate, you get 31,000. In silver, you get 3,750 in tokens. Let's go to the um, Champions League. You get 13,600,000 in silver. You get 290,000 in tokens and components for other weapons coming in and anything else. Let's go to the Diamond League, which is what my first account is at. Is at. You have 2,700, no, 2,700,000 in silver and 50,000 tokens plus components to some of the newer weapons. What does all this mean? Save up on your tokens and you'll find out. I mean, you get, and plus you, um, what they're not, what the experts don't seem to get, even though they always say they're saving up for gold through that, yet Pixonic hasn't given us any gold in the Royale. They're helping us to save on silver through the Royale. You get silver. Let's see here. Let's go to the workshop here. How much silver does it cost to get a bulwark? You have to spend 1.23 million on 400 components. That's around. 28 million in silver for four boxes, no, six boxes. That's close to, I mean, no wait, excuse me, it's not 20, that's, that's for 10,000. But for six boxes, that is seven million or over. But for a total bulwark, you need to spend 30 million, close to 30 million in silver. Just to get a bulwark. That silver you could be spending on upgrades. And nobody, everybody knows how expensive upgrades are these days. Not to mention you have to spend money, I mean spend silver on some of the smaller weapons and robots. But on the premium stuff, 
You can get those for free in the Royale. You heard me right. In the Royale, you get 5,000, or you can get two, what was it? Uh, let's go to the Royale for a moment here. Um, but when it comes to the Bulwark, I would put my money towards, I would actually save up my tokens and go to the workshop. Why? Let's check this out. You get 5,000 co components. You get 2,600 components. You get 3,500 components. And so on. What does all this add up to? You can get yourself a bulwark and probably even get yourself close to getting half the amount for a second one. All you have to do is save up your tokens. You know how much silver you're saving? Around 30 million or more on silver. Silver you could be putting towards upgrades on your bulwark when you get it. I'm betting that thing is expensive when it comes to levels 10 and 11. Not to mention the MK2 levels, you know? All you have to do is save up your tokens and it wouldn't cost you a single penny in silver. I mean, you get, you even get silver in the Royale. That's right, you're saving a ton of silver. So what is Pixonic doing with this? So they're not giving us gold but they are saving us a ton of silver and nobody even notices it. They think, well, but everybody's complaining, well, we would rather get gold in this. We don't waste our components getting this garbage. We can spend it in the workshop. Yeah. And have to grind for more silver. Silver you could be putting towards other upgrades on weapons or robots. I'm not saying the workshop is bad. Right now it's so expensive and nobody really knows what things are gonna be like in the next upgrade on war robots. All I'm saying is, Pixonic put the Royale there for a reason. They took out the gold for a reason. Why? To help us save on silver. I mean, drop boxes, black market. I mean, take a look at some of these crates. Super chest. You get free weapons, free components to robots and weapons if you're lucky enough. In the bronze chest, not only do you get robots and weapons, older stuff, but you also get components, no, not components, but tokens and silver, both of which you could save up. Save up the tokens enough, like, and you can, in the robot, in silver chest. Older robots and weapons, if you have enough, you don't need to, have any more, sell it for silver. I don't go beyond five when it comes to robots. If I've already got five of the same robot, then I'll just sell the rest of them because I don't think I need any more than five. And you get silver in this and a ton more. You get like 7,000 or 5,000 in tokens which you could put towards savings on getting a premium robot or weapon. Gold chest, you get 2,000 components on robots and weapons. Yeah, and you can even get more tokens and more silver.
is it worth it? You may not always get the gold, but think about it. How much silver you're saving doing it this way. Grinding for the black market or grinding to save up on close to around 500 tokens or less for um, the Royale. Think of how much silver you're saving. I'm not saying that the Royale, well, actually I am saying the Royale is better than the workshop when it comes to the premium stuff. I'm not saying it's better when it comes to the weaker stuff, but I mean, for example, Gephardt or a Magnum. I'm not saying it's better than those, but when it comes to the premium stuff, like a Bulwark, you're gonna save 30 million in silver. Just trying to get yourself one Bulwark. And think about the silver you're saving. Like, take, for example, the, uh, the cost of silver to upgrade these older things. It could save you silver by going to the Royale. And, I mean, when it comes to the older stuff, I get that. But when it comes to the premium stuff, like Bulwark or Exodus, saving up on silver sounds pretty sweet to me. That means you're grinding up enough tokens to get 10,000 just for one Dragoon in the Royale. Is it worth it? Yes. So you're not getting gold, so what? At least you're saving in silver for it. The black market is very expensive right now. At least until the next update, upgrade on War Robots. But for right now, think about it. Everybody's complaining about the cost of how the economy is so bad and it costs so much silver. Oh yeah, because nobody's given the Royale a chance. If you grind enough honor points, grind enough keys, eventually you'll save up to enough tokens in the Royale to get yourself 10,000 components for any robot or weapon that they're tr selling in that. All I'm saying is think about it. I myself don't have a bulwark, and I don't exactly have over 50,000 tokens. But after what I've come to realize watching that live video on Adrian's channel, which he never answered my question, I'm thinking maybe he didn't really know, either he didn't notice it or He'd rather just get the gold and, I mean, he has over, I'm sure he has in the billions in silver by now because he's in Champions League, but, and same with the other Champion Leaguers, but for those who are like in Diamond League myself, well, you gotta find whatever way we can just to save on silver. So just think about it. That's what the Royale is there for helps you to save on silver by getting components in there. Anyway, that's my take on Royale versus the workshop. Please leave a like and do consider subscribing. Thanks. Bye.